All right, peace and love, family. It's your boy Tez, local financial ninja. Uh, just wanted to give a quick update because I've been having a lot of developments and I haven't been dedicating as much time as I would like to uploading videos and making content and things like that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys. So actually in the process of purchasing a house, um, I'm gonna be getting an FHA loan, um, which has a very low down payment and that type of loan they really want to delve into your finances in the details. So like any transaction over $300 into my, in my bank accounts and things like that, I've been literally having to explain like what cash apps are, what Zelle payments are, Venmo and things like that. Um, and yeah, that's just been a little process in itself. Um, searching for homeowners insurance, getting all the different quotes has been taking its time just talking to many different people and trying to use the online quote tools and getting to the end and them just referring me to a local insurance agency and things like that has just been just been a, a bit a bit of a task for me but we're almost at the end i think i've turned in all of my last documents last night i finished my first time home buyers class um, that's a good thing for anybody to check into. If you're looking towards purchasing a home, most states, they offer some type of first time home, home buyers program, blah, blah, blah. I just woke up. Sorry. But yeah, most states, they offer some time, of, some type of first time home buyers class. So you might want to look into taking that. And, um, once you get the completion, the certification of completion, um, that helps you for apply for different programs and things like that, such as grant assistance, down payment assistance, um and yeah just all of those different types of programs um me particularly i live in virginia um and the house i'm going to be purchasing is a really decent house it was recently renovated um i'm person person it for like i think twenty thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars less than what is appraised for the neighborhood is in trend is in transition so that's a good thing um i hope to buy and hold this house. I don't wanna flip it or anything like that. I'm just gonna live in it for a while, um, probably refinance out of the FHA loan and then rent it out because under the FHA loan, that has to be your primary residence. You have to live in it. You can't get an FHA loan and then use it as a rental property or investment property. So hopefully I can refinance at some of the other banks that were offering me um, conventional mortgages. Um, but I went this route because I did wanna save the money on the down payment. Um, typically you have to come out about 10%. That's, that's what I look forward to anytime I go into purchasing property, um, is the, looking forward to putting down 10 to 15%. So I have that, but that kind of would have cleaned me out. And then I just would have been stuck with this house with no, with no savings or, um, emergency funds or anything like that. So rather than do that, went ahead, went forward, let them you know, put a scope on my finances and things like that, do as much examining as they can, because I have nothing to hide. And it saves them some down payment money. I get a, um, got a very low rate. I think it's like two and a half percent. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's been on my, on my plate for the most part. Also getting ready to relaunch and revamp everything with the Shea Butter Network. So check the website out, www.sheabutternetwork.org. And in the next year, we're going to revamp everything. We're going to try to put put a lot more into the website and to teaching people how to use the products and educating people on why they should use the products and things like that as well. Because I feel like that will help the customers, um, you know, expand their expand the utility of the products, you know, um, and then also expand our our client base because a lot of people, they're just afraid they're only used to using their same products and things like that. So that's kind of what I've been thinking about lately. Um, got new packaging in, um, trying to revamp the labels and things like that. Our old label designs were very, very recently designed. So I might keep that and just, just keep going forth from there. I want to start like a friends and family mailing list. Um, so anybody who signs up for the mailing list, send your address and things like that in a message. Um, when you go sign up on www.sheabutternetwork.org and then we'll begin sending out products um, regularly throughout the year. Um, I'm not sure of the frequency, but we are going to start sending those things out along with, you know, just some um, just some mailers and things like that uh, to help you use the products and give you ideas on what the products can do for you and what they can be used for. So 
look out for that. Um, also been on Clubhouse um, somewhat. It's it takes it it will take up a bit of your time. When I first got invited to it, I was on it like for hours a day. Now I've kind of sit back because there's some of the stuff on there. It's a um, it's a lot going on on there, man. So. Um, I just been trying to limit my time on there, but I do love it. Uh, a lot of the rooms I touch on, man, are just amazing. Amazing people are connected on there, and I really love it for the network, networking opportunities and things like that. Like uh, night before last, I was in a room with five sisters. They were hosting like a room talking about estate planning, so they all were estate planning attorneys, and they were talking about how celebrities have failed to do proper estate planning and how their um their wealth and things like that when it was time to get passed on to the next generation that was in limbo um went to probate and a lot of family uh families were broken up and were fighting over these types of things and you know some people that they cared for while they're alive were left without any care and things like that and i'm just talking about setting up special needs trust the importance of beneficiaries and trust and just just man just amazing conversations have been had i've also been in a lot of the ados um reparations pan-african rooms and things like that as far as like you know talking about connecting global african peoples um other rooms that i'll be in is in the entertainment industry rooms and things like that like Avery Dumanet hosted like a master class on like writing stories and Will Packers on there and a bunch of different like creatives and things like that because I, I am also interested in that space as I am a YouTube creator so I would like to see what the opportunities are in like film and different other you know and assets or not assets but aspects of the entertainment industry like music and things like that so um that's what I've been doing on there if you're on Clubhouse follow me at T-E-Z-Z, -Z, at Tez with two Zs, um, where you can just look me up by my real, real name, Durantes Washington. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, we had a good holiday with the fam. A lot of toys for the baby girl. Um, I'm actually reconsidering buying toys going forward just because it, it creates just a big mess. And I don't, I just don't like a lot of clutter. I feel like overabundance that's what leads to clutter and things like that so um but she is a kid so i'm not gonna try to steal her joy but it's just like i want to keep um keep stay mindful of all of the stuff that we're taking in that that we're buying buying because eventually you just end up with a house full of shit and i don't i really don't like that because you have to move and you have to carry all of that stuff sometimes when you look around you'll see stuff and you'll be like dude i haven't used that for a year or closet full of clothes and like dude i haven't worn this in two years so i'm really trying to stay mindful and you know um pay attention to those details of my life as well i've um, been reading a really good book lately called the big leap i want to shout out kev on stage man he's really inspired me to get this book shout out to gay hendrix um he did an interview with kev and melissa on on their um on one of their shows and it was just it's pretty awesome man i'm halfway through trying to get to my zone of genius, man, trying to stop up or limiting myself, you know, and just, uh, just get to that next level, man. That's, that's been a reoccurring thing lately. Just trying to make it to the next level. Also bought a book, um, by Richard Wright. It's called Pagan Spain here. Haven't started reading it yet, but that is next on my list for 2021, as well as a couple of others. So I got a bunch of books to my Amazon card as well. Hopefully with this new house, I get to, I get to build my office, y'all. So this is going to be awesome. I'm going to have like a mini studio in there, better lighting. I won't have to be in the bathroom. Um, and yeah, I'll have a bookshelf because I have like hundreds of books. So I'm excited about the bookshelf more than anything because that's going to be awesome to me. And yeah, man, just have a little space of my own where I get to chill and things like that. So just looking forward to this new year, this new chapter in my life, breaking the barrier, you know what I'm saying? Exceeding past those upper limit problems, getting into my zone of genius right now. Um, yeah, and whatever comes with that, man, hopefully I'll be looking forward to like quitting my job or something. Something crazy will happen, like I'll stumble upon some riches. But yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. Um, as far as my investments, steady saving, all money in, you know what I'm saying? Ultra high net worth savings. You know what it is, baby. Save 12, 15% of your, of your income and just keep it going, man. Put that money up, stocks, bonds, hey, CDs, whatever you can, savings, just stack that paper, y'all. And um, yeah, man, but that's, that's basically what I've been up to. Um, also, in the back of my mind, 
because the past years I've been doing a lot of stuff just geared towards the family, trying to make sure that everything is right. And, you know, if anything were to go wrong, I have cash and stuff set aside, you know, getting us out of the apartment and getting us into the house. And yeah, just making sure the family's good. So in the back of my mind, I think I'm about to give me a project car for this summer. Uh, just been looking on Craigslist and things like that. So I'm really into like third gen Camaros and that's like 82 to 1992 Camaros and things like that. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and look it up. These are some cool ass cars. Um, and yeah, that's really, really what's on my mind. I will take like an old school Corvette or something like that. I really like the two door coupes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, T-tops, um, the removable tops, if you're not familiar with that. Um, but yeah, man, muscle cars and the car culture is a real big thing where I'm from, Kansas City, Missouri, man. So, you know, we like candy paint, like go dating rims, you know what I'm saying? Loud beat, man, and just nice rides, man. We get out there on the weekend and cruise, man. That's what it, that's what the spring, summer, fall, man. That's what it is, man. So, you know, just that's what's in my back of my mind. So pray for me, family. Hey, continue like and subscribe to the videos. I promise, well, I don't want to meet any upper limit problems where I'm not reaching the agreement. So I am going to, I'll I'll say this. I will agree to uploading as much content as I possibly can in the next year within reason. So it's not going to be a video every day. Probably not going to be a video every week, but I'm going to try to upload as much content as I can. Um, so continue to like, share, subscribe, you know, find me on Instagram. Um, yeah, Clubhouse, all of that stuff. I'm even on Twitter, not on there much. I'm not on my socials a lot, but yeah, man, feel free to connect with me outside of this platform. Comment, man. We can have some deep conversations if you want to host some Clubhouse rooms and things like that. Always open to that, man, and we can just go in. But yeah, um, peace, love, light, and life, family. Y'all have a good one. Happy New Year's.